hello everyone and welcome to the latest video on my youtube channel digger evans we're just going to have a quick look at airbrushing a really quick look at simple airbrushing uh the last video one or two people were it i've got airbrushes haven't used them and weren't sure it's a gravity feed airbrush and it's a simple procedure once you connect it to your compressor you push that lever down that introduces air into the gun and as you pull the lever back that releases paint out of this end there's a needle that runs right through the length and you can see that needle move through this gap here that's in front of my finger i'll press that pull it back the needle's moving via that lock nut you can alter the length and all that but we're not going to do anything like that today we're just going to do simple spraying uh, i recommend everyone does this if you're new to airbrushing just to get <coughs> excuse me just to get confident like many people have used pva diluted to glue the ballast down on the tracks and like an idiot i went and used a water-based acrylic to do some weathering on the tracks the water penetrated the balance loosened the glue and there was a, a catastrophe as ballast went everywhere as it loosened from the rails if you're going to use acrylics use acrylics by all means on the rails or you can use enamels and eliminate that problem but using acrylics use something like this ultimate airbrush thinner for all acrylics it's available on the auction site that we all know and it's probably get it from other places it's not expensive you don't need a lot of it it lasts you ages and it'll actually dilute and thin down any any acrylics that, that you care to mention i've got some in this bottle i mixed it myself i got these cheap cheap bottles and uh, i mixed it with it's just ordinary acrylic and I, i've mixed it in with the thinners i'm just going to put some into the uh, into the cup on the airbrush i've put quite a bit in there now you can regulate the flow of paint coming out by the needle and you can also alter the pattern by removing one or both of these diffusion nibs on the end uh i make a fine line but i'm not going to do any of that it's not this is just for general weathering and you can alter the distance i'll show you what i mean so get the compressor on get the air flowing just pull the lever back i'm about five inches away and you can see a faint line now appearing i'll go a bit closer and you can see the difference it's a much darker line and move quicker and it's as simple as that you can get all kinds of effects once you practice keeping a distance from it or going close up you see we're getting some splashes there it's coming out it's a bit of a quick flow so it's coming out too fast so we tighten things up and move the needle up that's all it is just get some paper and practice keep practicing and you you'll soon get to do it and you can pick up your rails i've got a building here and let's quickly show you this it's an old derelict building and so we, we can just put a bit of a dirt effect along the bottom of it quite easily and it's only ever so subtle but it, it makes a lot of difference you know don't be afraid of your airbrush simple as that that's just a quick and what i'll say is get in there practice 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 and play on paper and all sorts till you get used to your airbrush use the right thinners and always 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 clean the airbrush out after you've used it and it'll work out fine uh so don't be frightened of your airbrush set it up practice on something on paper and what have you and if you're using any chemical thinners you're out like that wear a, a, a mask so you don't breathe any fumes in that's all thank you ever so much for looking in we've gone out of focus now i really appreciate you watching and if you do like what you see please do like and subscribe the video uh for more stuff like this i'll be back very very soon in the next few days with a new video 
thank you all very much i appreciate you watching thank you bye bye now